coming to you with my first Q&A and I'm so excited. I've been wanting to do a Q&A for a very, very long time and I finally got, um, I finally just decided to go a different way with, you know, asking you guys for questions and stuff like that and I finally got enough questions to do a Q&A. Um, so I'm really excited about it. So, oops. So, let's get started with the Q&A. Um, the first question was asked by my friend Michaela, and she said, Hey, asked Chrissy, ask Chrissy, what is your favorite thing about vlogging? Um, and I think one of my favorite things about vlogging is, um, is like meeting like other YouTubers and becoming friends with YouTubers and just posting videos. I think the whole thing about YouTubing is so fun. The next question comes from my fiance Mark um, and he asked what kind of setup and camera are you vlogging with um, I don't necessarily have a certain setup um, I vlog you know from as you guys can see from like any room in the house I'll do it in my bedroom my daughter's room bathrooms one of the bathrooms or just wherever um, and uh, and you know, I, I like right now I'm using a small tripod or I use a big tripod or I use my monopod or I just hold the camera or set it on a counter. You know, I don't really have like a specific area, even though I would love to have like a specific area and a specific setup where I create videos. So um, as of right now, I don't have a, any specific setup. And the camera that I use, I'll put a picture right here, is um, the Nikon um, Coolpix um, 8. Uh, L830 and um, I absolutely love it. I purchased it from Best Buy and the color is plum um, It's a shade of purple, which I love um, the quality of the videos. I think are great. It has awesome zoom um, It takes great pictures and you could take all sorts of pictures um, um, And it I just love it. it. It's an awesome camera and it was like one of the best purchases that I've ever made as far as like Electronic and stuff and I absolutely love my Nikon and that's the kind of camera that I use to record my videos um, And that was an awesome question, babe. So thanks for asking and um, The next question is from Valerie Granville and she's one of my YouTube noir sisters. So hi Valerie um, And she asks do I um, do I use natural lighting and the answer is yes um, I don't have any like special, you know lamps or anything like that or Photography lighting um, most of all of my videos as of right now are all used with natural lighting like right now I'm using the window that's right in front of me my big um, my daughter's big bedroom window to give me lighting for my videos um, and natural lighting is some of the best lighting you can actually use. You don't have to like fix it up or anything like that. Most of the time, all you have to do is face it. You don't want to have your camera, you know, the camp back of the camera facing the window and it gives you great lighting. So, um, as of right now, yes, I do use natural lighting and I love it. So great question, Valerie. Um, the next, uh, question comes from my cousin, um, Solomon Bass and he asks, why uh, why hasn't he met his little cousins yet and sorry cuz um, I know that it's hard right now because um, a lot of my family is from Milwaukee and I am two hours away in Green Bay so that's why I don't go down a lot of times because it is so far and by me being sick I don't want to drive all the time and risk you know getting into an accident and stuff but cousin I will definitely get down there and so you can see your cousins and you have to meet your new cousins and yes I would definitely get down again and when I do I'll make sure I call you okay I promise I promise <laughs> um, and the next question comes from one of my childhood friends Marcus Hart and he asks um, how am I gaining support um, a lot of the support through my YouTube channel is from um, a lot of my friends and family who um, are on my Facebook um, because I share a lot of my stuff on the Facebook so a lot of like my friends and family watch the videos and I am getting a lot of support from other YouTube um, creators as well thank you all too for all the support that you guys are giving just by watching um, this video and all my other videos so um, that's a great question Marcus thanks for asking and the next question comes from I kind of I call her my little sister um, because her name is Christina and my best friend that I've known for over 20 plus years Linda um this is her little sister and I consider Linda as my sister because I've known her almost my whole life and so she's she's my little sister um and thank you Christina for asking question and she said uh, what's one thing you would like to improve on your channel um 
that is a great question. Um, there are a couple things that I think I can improve, but one of the things that I really, really, really want to improve on are my, um, you know, of is uploading, you know, um, if even if it's specific days or every day, you know, that I have that regularly scheduled content, you know, I want to be able to, um, you know, because some days I just really don't feel good and I'm like in bed and I just don't want to upload or I'm really busy, you know, school, having kids, having a family and stuff like that. Um, that's one thing that I want to learn how to do. And I recently bought a planner to kind of help me, help me out with this. And, um, and I, you know, and I think that's one of the things that um, that I would like to improve. And the next question is from Mr. Boss HPI Connor. Grew up with you, HP. How you doing? Um, he asked, "How's things been going for me?" Um, as far as from when a lot of my childhood friends and stuff have, I've you know that back when I've seen them, a lot of things have changed. Um, you know, I have. Uh, a, a family now, you know, I'm engaged to my wonderful fiance, Mark. And, you know, now a lot of people only seen me when I had one kid, but now I have two. Um, I have my beautiful stepdaughter, Brittany. I'll put her face up right here. Um, and she came into my life almost nine years ago in August. And so I have her. And then I also have my daughter, Tara. And here's a picture of her for all my new subbies. Um, and she will be 13 in October. Yes, I am that old. I have a 13 year old. Um, and Brittany actually is going to be turning 21 in January so it makes me feel so old um, and then I also have a granddaughter Aaliyah and here's her picture here um, she is like the light of my life she her smile and eyes just brighten up my day um, and um, I've been doing good I mean my health has taken a turn you know um, you know badly you know not it could be worse but um you know a lot of things have changed so you know that's just making me a more better crystal so to speak you know I, I love being a mom and I love being a grandmother um you know I love being a fiance and uh things things are things are good things are awesome uh, this question comes from one of my very good friends that I've um became friends with upon moving up to Green Bay because we actually work together and her name is Tamara and her Facebook name is Tamara everybody's favorite you know, she's everybody's fave. <laughs> hey, girl. Um, she asks, how affected are your loved ones by your illnesses? And what does it mean to you? Like, how does it make you feel? Um, I mean, ever since I gotten sick, I, I have seen a change with a lot of things. I mean, um, personally, I know that a lot of family members and stuff won't tell me personally, you know, if it's affected them in a bad way or, you know what I mean? Um, but, you know, from things that I've seen, uh, I think that, you know, um, it has been taking a toll on everyone because, you know, um, of me needing help or, you know, me counting on others and normally, I, you know, I, I, I love to be independent. That's just me. I'm this independent person. But now to have to count on, you know, family members and friends for help, you know, that's been a big process. So I know that aspect probably has been hard on everyone because, you know, um, they're like, you know, oh, Crystal's going to need my help. You know, Crystal's going to need my help. So, you know, they kind of have that in their head that, you know, well, maybe let me just not do this just in case, you know, so um, it makes them have to think or change things for me. Um, so I think that's one thing that has been affected, um, especially when it comes to, you know, like going places um, or doing things. I think a lot of people change what they're going to do based on if I'm able to do it, if that makes any sense. You know, and it just it makes me feel love and it makes me feel um, just, you know, awesome that I have people in my life who are willing to change things for me, um, you know, because not a lot of people would do that for you, you know, and, um, and it just, it, it just makes me feel really good, you know, that they, that they would do that at the same time. It does make me feel bad because I feel bad that they have to stop what they're doing to help me. Um, so tomorrow, that was a great question. Um, and I really, you know, I'm thankful that you asked me that because it does have you think, you know, um, of how people around you are getting affected by it and stuff. And not to mention, you know, not being able to work or being there, you know, for your for your family for support in certain ways that I just can't be there for them for, you know, and, um, you know, and, and that is hard, you know, when you're used to, you know, working and you're used to being able to do whatever 
and now having a table turn completely and then you know you get hindered from doing a lot of things as well as not being able to support family in certain ways you know if someone else in the family gets hurt and they need physical help you know to walk and things like that i am one to not be able to because of my own issues and that makes me feel bad as well so um but yeah that that answers that question and um you know, I, I really appreciate you asking me that question. And this is one question from Twitter um, from my friend Julie, um, a.k.a. Jules. Hi, thanks for asking a question. And uh, she asked me, um, how did me and my husband meet? Um, well, my fiance. And we met through mutual friends. We actually met at... Um, you know, like a house party, uh, you know, we had the same friends and we ended up meeting there and, uh, we just so happened to see each other. I think it was, was it a, it was some type of drinking party, you know, we, it was drinks and stuff. And I don't remember if it was a costume party cause we went to quite a bit of parties, um, of the same friends and, uh, we just ended up seeing each other, you know, and, um, went on a couple dates and, we just like we bonded we clicked so well at the beginning of our relationship and in august 19th of this year will be nine years that we've been together um but it, yeah sorry guys my camera died my well, my battery's died in the camera um but yeah that's how me and my fiance met and um yeah that was an awesome question jules so thank you so much for asking and thanks you guys for taking the time to watch my first q a i had so much fun um and if you guys have any future questions or have any questions that you would like to ask for another vlog i meant for another q a i will definitely do another q a i'll do it tomorrow if you guys ask enough questions um because i really enjoyed it um and if you do have any questions that you would love for me to answer on a q a please leave them down in the comments below on this video because then I'll go back to this video and do, you know, the, the um, Q&A off the questions that you guys asked me below. But thank you so much for watching. And if you're new to the channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button, um, hit that thumbs up button, and please leave comments below if you guys have any questions to any of the answers that I gave um, or anything, like I said, or more questions. Please leave them down below. And um, thanks, guys. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.